Well, God bless you, Bishop Shaver here Thursday, and just seeing what all's going on in the world today and how that, you know, everything seems so messed up. And, you know, we look around and we ask ourselves, where's hope? Where is uh, the hope of tomorrow that we find things are going to be better? Uh, where, where do we look to to find the peace that we can that we can have going through all this struggle and inflation and you know Ukraine and we're seeing the flooding uh, in Wyoming we're looking at all this that's happening you know houses being destroyed uh, drought taking place in the south and everything where do we find this peace you know Jesus is the Prince of Peace so we go to him and you know he told his disciples when he was getting ready to leave he said lo I will be with you always even unto the end of the world. We have that promise. So when we look around and we see murder on the streets and we see young people that are dying, uh, we, we see the, the, you know, the slain in these major cities is just ruthless. I mean, young babies are being killed by, you know, drive-by shootings and, and we're seeing all this is happening and we ask ourselves, where do we find peace? And we find it in the presence of God. I just encourage you to pray. I encourage you to seek the face of God. And no matter what situation, we have ones going through COVID, going through cancer, uh, going through divorce, the loss of a child. You know, all this is happening. But the only peace that has substance is the peace of God that passes all understanding. So I just want to encourage you, you know, look up. The prophet told uh, his servant, he said, listen, he said, when I spoke, the, the heavens shut and there was no rain. None. But now, I'm going to speak and we're going to see that we're going to see the heavens open up. Go look and see what you what you see. And the servant went, came back, nothing. Go look again. Nothing. And so through this right here, we see that it was time. Go, go, go. But then he came back and said, but wait a minute. I see a cloud the size of a man's hand. And what he was saying was, it's beginning to rain. And he said, get yourself up. We've got to go fast. This is going to be an overpowering rain. It's going to be a flooding rain. And so when he came down off the mountain, and they took off running because the rain was coming. There's a spiritual and a physical in this. And I believe this spiritual was spoken by Joel. In the last days I will pour out my spirit upon all flesh. And your sons and your daughters shall prophesy. He said, your old men are going to dream dreams. Young men are going to have visions. And he said, your handmaidens. He said, all of these are going to be affected by this. He said, so get yourself ready. And I believe that we're looking at today a overpowering, flooding, Holy Spirit reign that's going to bring the church back to being the body of Christ. It's going to bring them back to where they seek the face of God. Get yourself up. Get yourself ready. Because the Holy Spirit is about to rain out, rain on America, and rain out gifts on sons and daughters. I'm a son. You're a son. You're a daughter. We see all of this. So get yourself ready. Until next time, some think about. God bless you. We love you. 3310 Florence here in Colleen. Stop by and see us. I guarantee you'll get some word. You'll get some truth. Amen. We love you.